And everybody went and played with Reiska Ruletti or something like that. Those imbeciles. And I have to publicly apologize. I didn't kick Rexo's ass. He kicked my ass. Fuck Zilda! Uh, Rickshaw, of course, going with the trademark Peach. God damn it, they are always the wrong side. Stop doing that to me. And Nock is going with the Incera. And into Battlefield Mementos we go. Now, of course, this is going to be... Peach is gonna die ridiculously early. Uh, we have some. Yeah, we have wrong tags. God damn it, Nokis. Now we're gonna start it all over so Nokis can actually play with his Mehukatti tag. This is why you always double check everything. English. Mitä väliä sillä on? Tää? Ei mulle oo sanottu mitään mistään vaatimuksista. No voi sanoa! No tämähän on hyvä, jos mä oon rikkonut ensimmäisen turnauksen sääntöä ja ne potkasee mut pois ja mä en saa selostaa enää yhtään mitään. Mut sitten ei saa nokkiskaa, koska sekin puhuu englanniksi. So I have no idea. Somebody needs to confirm. Can somebody check the like the official rules of Seoul? Do I need to speak in Finnish or English? We're gonna continue with English until I get some kind of confirmation. But back to the match at hand. We have all the all the good tags, and Rickshaw is still completely handling the center stage to himself. Nokis has been forced to jump around on the platforms, which is never the best uh, thing for Incineroar because he. His approach can be quite lackluster from time to time, and here comes a forward, forward smash. Can he counter it? No, he doesn't really want to go for that. It's way too risky, to be honest, because he can release it earlier. Nice offensive down air. Let's see, can he convert into it? No, just barely missing those up air juggles. Rickshaw gets the back throw. No need to edge way. <laughs> Unfortunately, he had to, like, oh well. Doesn't really matter. He could have taken that edge guard, but not this time. Nice Z drop with a turnip. Now let's see. He doesn't have a jump anymore. Nock is in a bad situation. No, unfortunately, no tech. And he dies, but <laughs> just coming out with the forward air, almost evening out the situation. Nice dash around from the uh, side B, managed to get the uh, throw. I actually think up throw might have actually killed at that point, maybe. Oh well, doesn't he didn't take the stock yet? No damage done to him. Yeah, and here comes the after. I hopefully he didn't actually hear that from me because that'd be coaching. Uh, even now, even even situation, two stocks apiece, almost pretty much dead. Even percentages, but here comes Peach. Unfortunately, he gets just interrupt with the side B in the row, taking a big chunk of damage out of Rickshaw. Rickshaw taking it easy, just floating around, taking using that those turnips, just pulling them out. Up B really couldn't. Um, Hold shield, pretty much. The shield was so low for Rickshaw, but let's see how it, what's the situation. Again, he, uh, Incino, uh, Nokis has been pretty much just giving the center stage to Rickshaw, pretty much always. He's just content on jumping on the platforms. I mean, especially at this point, he's in the lead, so he doesn't really need to approach. And here comes the revenge. Let's see how can he use it. But there's also a Mr. Saturn on the play. Don't use your shield when it's going to get broken. Oh, that was actually really clutch. I was so certain that uh, Nokis was actually going to pull up his shield, but no. And there goes the Mr. Saturn, the threat of the instant shield break is gone. But that damage is not going to be gone from uh, Nokis 100% already. Rickshaw only at 55. Nice, nah, just <laughs> just boldly waiting and like, yeah, you're not going to hit with the hit with that side B and managing to catch it off guard. No double jump for uh, Nokis, what's the punish? Nice, good up smash out of shield. Just continuing with the juggle, not going to let uh, Nokis uh, land away too easily. Oh, good wait from the sport dodge. 187 already. This is looking bad for Nokis. Now, can he get back off on the stage? Yes, he can. No no damage done yet, but unfortunately, Rickshaw was floating, so he really couldn't connect with the side B. An instant punish with the 
back air. Rickshop almost lapping Nokis right now on percentages and the stalks. Well, let's see what's the retaliation from Nokis. That side B is the starter for it. Center stage belongs to him. How can how can he force his will on Rickshaw? Nice grab. Can he get the node neutral B? No, just going for the uh, forward air. Damage is damage and nice drop down forward air. Punishing the lag of that side B from Rickshaw. 50% separating these two, but here comes Rickshaw with the up S. Nice offensive nair just landing in. No punish on the side B, unfortunately, from Nokis. He's on the stage uh, off stage again. This is really bad. Staying on the ledge and on the side of the stage is really scary against Peach because that forward air is definitely a killer move over there. 99% already. Rickshaw only at 20. The turnip in hand. No need, no need to approach for Rickshaw. He can just take it easy and slow. Up. Oh, that could have been really bad if that dash attack actually hits. Nokis keeping the center stage. Unfortunately, gets swacked with the turnip. Ooh, going for a quite a offensive forward air and then just punishing the whiff grab with a down air. Managing to actually reverse the situation. The center stage belongs to him. No, unfortunately he was reading a uh, uh, get up jump with that side B, but not going to happen this time. Oh, and that just barely missing the forward smash. That's, it can be ridiculous. Oh no, this is bad. He, yes, he's, he's, he's still, he still had the jump, so he survived. But yeah, that's definitely really annoying, actually, trying to punish uh, Peach's up B when he's, she's coming down with a parasol, because Rickshaw can just so easily uh, uh, affect his momentum and just cancel out the up B also. But Nokis has to send the stage. Oh, almost getting hit with the forward but Just barely managing to get hit by that back air from Rickshaw, taking the first match. 1-0. Uh, okay, the the thing why uh, Rickshaw didn't confirm that one edge card because he uh, uh, unfortunately dropped his contact lens. That can, I mean, yeah, I'll I'll give him that. I actually didn't know that Rickshaw used glasses. This is new information. Lilith was banned. I didn't really hear this other ban, but we are going back into Battlefield, apparently. Noki still staying with the Incineroar. I think this is still best out of five. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. More than likely, because I think they are still on the... Yeah, they're on the winner's side, so this is definitely best out of five. So Noki still has lots of time to make the comeback, but... You definitely got to give him points with that. He always starts with the down, th down, down taunt. I mean, Incineroar players always do things like that. But nice string with the up 35% already. Rick showing a bad spot, managing to come down with the offensive uh, down there, but gets punished with the counter and a counter uh, side uh, back there is going to do a lot of damage. 86% already stuck on the ledge with. Let's see. Oh, the forward tilt not going to connect this time. Mehogati, I'm just going with the lariat. Nobody cares. I'm just going to spin it here. Center stage, some small dancing, who can get the next hit? Oh, there comes the forward air. Rickshaw has the center. Just bullying him. Oh, and managing to actually wait out the counter. Unfortunately, not going to hit with that back uh, forward air, but back throw not going to take it yet. 130% already on Rickshaw. This is looking really good for Nokis. And there comes the darkest lariat, just punishing the normal neutral get up. But <laughs> then gets immediately smacked by the... Oh no, this is bad. He, yeah, he still had the jump. Oh, thankfully manages to use the armor of the up B to go through that down. Otherwise, that would definitely have been a dead cat. Oh, and is that... No, it's not Mr. Saturn, unfortunately. Down throw. Not going to converse into that into anything. Just <laughs> and then just grabs Peach out of her float. Get over here. Side B. Oh, and there comes the pattern, the trademark rickshaw. I'm going to wait for your roll and just charge this up smash. Unfortunately, Nock is land going straight into it with the roll, but oh well, the stock count is equal. He still... Oh, the punish. That was actually a ridiculous amount of shield damage from that counter. I didn't manage to see what the turnip was, so it could have been just one of the stronger turnips. Good back here from Nock is getting Rickshaw off stage. Going for the kind of aggressive side B, not going to take, not going to connect. Oh, that nair was definitely clutch. The forward air was primed and ready from Rickshaw. Good counter. He has the revenge, but his shield is looking really tiny. Let's see if he go if he goes for the side B. Because boy, that move does damage when you have revenge. Oh, damage coming out. Rickshaw actually managing to wait out. I think the uh, revenge is already gone because it takes like one minute or something to lose it just if you don't do anything with it. No, but I think he still has it. 
It's really hard to actually see with this variant of color. And good punish on the up B, managing to get the landing lag of it. Two stocks for Rickshaw, one stock for uh, Nokis. But Rickshaw is definitely at kill percentages already. It takes really just one good move on the side of the stage for Nokis to even out the situation. Let's see if he can do that. Rickshaw, of course, gonna stay. Stay away from Nokis. Oh, good parry on the darkest Lariat and is just shielding the rest of it. And here comes the down tilt. Unfortunately, just not going to get more than 30% from that. But I mean, damage is damage. Nice offensive forward edge, just forcing himself into the stage. But Nokis not going to make it easy. Taking off stage. Nice punish on the side B with the backhand. Taking actually the stock for 50% uh, separating these two. The last stock of, the, of this second match. <laughs> Rickshaw just throwing out moves. Oh, it wasn't a dot do eye, but those turnips are really bad for Nokis. Oh, almost managing to catch that uh, air dodge. Nokis racking up the damage. Oh, and he actually gets this no neutral get up with that ridiculously strong forward smash. Managing to even out the situation to 1 1. Oliko meidän mitään varmennusta, että pitäisi puhua suomeksi vai englanniksi? <laughs> lovely, lovely. Fuck! That would be the best way to start everything. You're not allowed to commentate anymore. Scary. And into Rickshaw's counterpick we go. Characters are not gonna change. I don't think they're gonna change at all during this entire set. Smash will, will be the stage. We have KK Slider on the background. Giving us some nice and music, I hope. Unfortunately, I can't hear the game audio at all, so I don't even know what uh, song they have. Nice, yeah. Uh, side B getting that Alolan whip damage. 50% already on Rickshaw. Edge guarding situation. Let's see it. No, unfortunately. Going with the side B can be, it's, it's really a good, definitely a good option for Incinero, but if you miss that move, damn, does it have a lot of end lag. And here comes the ridiculously strong side B. Not gonna take the stock yet, but that was like 60% damage. Easily turning out there, this situation to Nokis' favor. Because a forward air, a forward tilt, so any of those moves are, are gonna start killing right around now, especially if they're on the edge. Peach poking through the stage with her parasol, managing to get off back on stage. And the officer is actually gonna cover the roll and just punish it and taking the first sock actually. 140 though on Rickshaw, but oh unfortunately mistiming from uh Nock is that if he got the proper hits of the Alolan whip that definitely would have taken the stock, but oh well, not this time. But here comes the Darkest Lariat, punishing the whiff forward air. 33% on Nokis. Easily a damage that Nokis can just retaliate with like one or two hits. I mean, if he gets a side B right now, it's definitely even. Here comes the upper strings. Not gonna get more than two this time. The platform kind of in the way, but here comes the assault with the turnips. Eat your vegetables, little kitty. Neutral air. Oh, and those. It's always so annoying because. Oh, no, no, no. I think that was a dot eye. Again, you. Though that is one of the main th uh, benefits for Incinero. Oh, and here comes the situation. Yeah, that's one of. That's kind of an edge trap with Rickshaw. If you, if you neutral get up, if you uh, attack get up, oh no, yeah, and you're dead. It's so sad to see that, but yeah, that Peach has really annoying edge traps with her uh, turns because they can just send you right into her up smashes or just outright kill you if you get if she gets a like a stronger one like Dot Eye or something. That shield though is looking really tiny. Nock is trying to get away from the combo with these. Uh, down B counter, but this is not gonna happen. Rickshaw continuing to rack up the damage, 77% though on him. So he definitely needs to play it safe. Oh, trying to challenge the up B, but that move is actually, I think, the, for the entire duration, Incineroar's uh, arms and head are intangible, so you can't really easily challenge it. Oh, the explosion managing to save Nokis this time, Rickshaw. Going in for the kill, the forward on center stage. Let's see how do how do the turnips work. Oh, and unfortunately, he didn't have enough momentum with the down B counter, and unfortunately, just gonna fall to his death because Incineroar's recovery is what it is. Rickshaw going in two one. 
into Pokemon Stadium 2 we go. This could be the last start, last match of Anoxus winner side, but he's still in winner side, so there's no need for to fear for his elimination. It doesn't happen yet. Though of course you never want to drop in to losers because well, it's a scary place. Home field advantage for Nokis. Oh, and Rickshaw actually using the taunt himself at the start. No need to pull up the turn if I can just taunt you too. Good punish on the forward smash. That move, Incineroar's moves are really laggy if you don't hit with them. I mean, that's the whole point pretty much of super heavyweights. Nice darkest lariat. Managing to punish the side B with his side B of his own. Though he's still behind on percentages. Oh, and here comes the forward air. That can be actually really annoying because... In Cineros, usually they love to use this grounded side beer because it can be re- I mean, let's face it, if it hits, it's amazing move. But because Peach just usually floats, it can be actually quite annoying to try to get the normal uh, side B to hit. Oh, and here comes the down throw into Dark Slayer. Not gonna take the stock yet. Oh, and just punishing the slight hesitation from Rickshaw with the uh, forward air. Like, I mean, if you're gonna float over there and not do anything, I'm gonna hit you. 100% on Nock, he's, he's still gonna leave for a while unless he gets hit by a forwarder on the edges. Oh, no punish on the dash attack, just spot dodging in. Back throw. Uh, back here, getting him off stage. Again, Rickshaw trying to read the roll option. Oh, that looked like he almost died from it. But again, that up smash taking the stock. That move actually seems to be ridiculously fast or something. That's the very it seems to be. But here comes the up strings three, getting him to 35%. Aerial side B, trying to catch out a uh, float from Rickshaw, not gonna happen. Up burst again, that move is definitely really good for uh, Incineroar. But here comes the combos from Rickshaw. Up air, up air, up air, can we get another one? Yes we can, another one please! Oh, going, trying to go for the finisher actually. Neutral, get him off stage, knock his. What's the battle plan? Oh, <laughs> really like that. Those were kind of hard reads from both. Nock is trying to read a neutral get up from uh, Rickshaw, and then Rickshaw trying uh, in retaliation to just read a roll with the up smash. But neither of them gonna hit each other. 133 though on Rickshaw. She's gonna die really soon. Pretty much the next one who gets a proper. Oh, and no proper punish on that. Dark Lariat, you can get so much damage out of it because he's in quite a lot of lag after it. Of course, you need to be aware of the fact that it has like three hits, so that you don't do it too early. Offensive, re really offensive down, down, uh, uh, down smash. Of course, because it can work as a pseudo uh, spot dodge because it's. Oh no! Oh no! This is looking bad. He managed to go to the edge. But yeah, the thing about uh, Incineroar's down smash is that he pretty much does the same thing that K Rule does. He, he's off the, off the ground for after like two or three frames so it can be used as a kind of a spot dodge with an offensive hitbox but here comes the ups up air managing to actually catch Rick, uh knock is throwing out a forward tilt kind of preemptively but nice back air retaliation coming from knock is evening out the stock situation 27 percent let's see what's his up what, what's gonna what's he gonna do this time I, i'm gonna bet that it's gonna be side p Oh, but here comes the combos. This is always such a bad spot against Peach. If she gets one of those combo starts and nares or downers, you can expect something like 30 to 60% every time. And you never want to get that much damage because that... I was about to say something really bad, but that... That Peach hit really hard. Good up smash. Forward smash to punish the jab strings. No punish on the landing. Good parry coming from Nokis with the turnip. 110 on though on him. This is looking really scary. Nice footstool. Can he get anything? Unfortunately, a bit too early with the down smash. I, actually, I think even if he just turned it around, it would have hit because the hitbox is way better when on the side that uh, Incineroar is actually facing. Side B coming in. 80% get him off stage. Watch the edge trap. Going in for the darkest lariat. Punish. Yeah, we got the grab, but unfortunately too much percentage to get anything out of it. This is scary on the ledge. What's the situation? Nock is just dash dancing, fox trotting around and going for the forward tilt. 
that move is actually a ridiculously good kill option for Incineroar. Evening out the match to 2-2. Two, two. The winner takes it all from this next one. Of course, neither of them want to drop down to the loser's side. Oh, and the next one is actually going to be Mursu and Kaura, I think. And the winner of this match plays against the winner of that match, so... Still continuing with the characters. Face bump for good measure. This is the final one. And to town and city we go. Quite a large stage. We have lots of room for both of these characters. Of course, Incinero pretty much all, never wants there to be a lot of room because he wants to fight up close and personal. There's 76% already. Let's see the upstairs strings. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get more than two. That air dodge coming in from Rickshaw managing to just break out of the combo. Forward air. <laughs> That's always so scary when you get a forward air coming from Peach. It's just. Even if you hit the shield, it doesn't really happen. No nothing really happens because it tends to be quite safe. Good option of just covering, punishing the uh, Rickshaw's aerial with the up B. Back here managing to actually shield. But oh, that would could have been really bad. A dead knock is if that turnip hits him. But this is bad. You need to get to the center stage. Nice offensive forward there. Managing to secure the uh, control of the stage to himself. Now he's just hunting with those back airs. Oh, that was really bad. Really gutsy uh, down B uh, landing from uh, Nokis. Because that can be really easily punished if you, if you don't actually counter anything. And there comes the forward. Uh, actually, down smash taking it. Rickshaw trying to go for a float aerial, but just gets punished uh, with the down smash. Down throw into some up airs. Not going to get more than one. Damage though. 40% already. Nokis trying to go for the second side B. Gets grabbed out of it. Good, good actually air dodging. Oh no, he unfortunately extended his own hurt box with that down tilt. That's the only reason why that forward smash connected. Nice, punishing the landing with the side B. 80% damage already on Rickshaw. Rickshaw going low. No challenge from uh, Nock. It's pretty much no need to go that far. Especially with Incineroar. You get hit once and you're dead. You don't want to get reverge edge guarded. Turnips just coming in. Nice dash attack. Back head, unfortunately just missing, but the second one will take it. Rickshaw on the edge again. What's the situation for Nokis? Just content to just jumping around the center stage, forcing Rickshaw to come. Oh, that shield almost got broken. Side B. Center stage. Not gonna take it yet. Rickshaw. Oh, thankfully he managed to avoid the taxi platform. That would have been a really anticlimactic way to die. <gasps> Unfortunately, he got the forward there. He would definitely want to back here at that point. Nokis just. Taking it slowly, the center stage. Oh, that's really scary when you need to do something on the ground when Peach is just floating near you. Because she can cover those options so well because the float goes so far. Up throw coming in from Nokis and taking the stock. That was pretty much going to be death either from up throw or back throw. Either one of them would have actually taken it. Turn it being the dash attack. Nokis burns his double jump. He's stuck on the platform. Good air dodge into the center stage, but unfortunately whiffs the side B, gets punished with the forward air. Nice turn. Is that actually a stitch? No, it's not a stitch. It was a uh, winky face or something. Nox oh! Thankfully he managed to jump away from that. He's actually been uh, doing it way better with the... Oh! <laughs> yeah, you don't... Unfortunately, you, you don't punish those moves. But one thing that Nokis definitely improved on this in this set was that he's, he hasn't been getting uh, sniped with the turnips. He's managed to actually jump over them or just avoid them with any other option because that is so crucial for Incineroar. Again, a really offensive down smash trying to use the pseudo uh, spot dodge of it. 72% though on Rickshaw District, looking definitely bad for him. He's off stay oh, on the edge. Again, one side B over there. <laughs> Nock is just contented jumping around with Incinero, which looks really odd. But here comes the combos. Unfortunately, drops it, only getting 32%. But here comes the punish on the down smash. Now, let's see. Let's see. Oh, back, back here. Back here. Punish that. Yeah. He's off stage. What's the edge guard? Just uh, trying to again go for the. Oh, the punish on those side Bs. Nock is going a bit too much with those. 
good side piece from Peach Bomber getting off stage again. Here comes the turnips. He, Rickshaw is definitely bringing this back. Let's see, can he actually confirm from this? Nock is in a bad situation. He hasn't been able to land properly on the stage uh, yet. Rickshaw forcing him off stage. That's a stitch. Unfortunately, no, not going to hit with that Z drop. And now he's just... Peach is so threatening when she just float cancers and does, does all that stuff. Nokis has to send the stage, just content again, just jumping on. Oh, unfortunately, he goes for the side B, predicting kind of a landing or something from Rickshaw. And Rickshaw is not going to let that go. He punishes it beautifully with that forward air, taking the match. 3-2. God damn. That was good. <laughs> and the next match will be Mursu versus uh, Gaura. <laughs>